Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today we've got news on Nvidia's next generation GPUs beyond Turing. AMD's Navi was spotted and Google announced the pricing of their upcoming cloud gaming service. But first, check out the Gamer Melt Discord server, a community for hardware and gaming enthusiasts to come, hang out, ask questions, or just talk tech. You can sign up for free at discord.gg slash gamermeld or follow the link in the description below. Okay, it's news time and first up for today we have a story that suggests Nvidia's next generation GPUs are coming a lot sooner than most would think. It was reported by DigiTimes which is a reputable news source but keep in mind that they have been wrong in the past. Either way, according to them, Nvidia is planning to release their next generation GPUs based on the upcoming Ampere architecture sometime next year. The biggest news is that Ampere will be based off of Samsung's new 7 nanometer EUV process, which is a surprise because most assumed Nvidia would use TSMC's 7 nanometer nodes. With that said, it makes sense because this comes just a couple days after the EE Times article where they reported that Samsung was undercutting TSMC by a lot. We're talking Samsung is reportedly offering a full mask for less than TSMC's multi-layer mask, and TSMC's multi-layer mask is only 60% of the cost of their full mask. Basically, while TSMC was the first to announce their 7 nanometer process, Samsung is apparently using their big wallet to gain a foothold in the market. So yeah, this really makes sense, and with them releasing it next year, it's likely a pushback to AMD's moving to annual releases. Of course, going from 12 nanometers to 7 nanometers plus is a really big jump, so I'm definitely excited for the potential, especially if they're able to drop the price some with the savings from Samsung. Well, if this is accurate. Next up for today, certification on AMD's next-gen Navi GPUs were spotted on the Radeon Research Agency in South Korea. What's interesting about the find is that it actually lists five different graphics cards, meaning the 5700 mentioned at Computex definitely isn't the only GPU AMD has with Navi. Unfortunately, it doesn't tell us they'll be announcing all of them at E3, but it does tell us that AMD has quite a few SKUs, which they'll likely use to replace the RX 500 series or maybe even release higher tier cards next year. Next up, Google officially announced the pricing for their cloud gaming platform in a live stream today. And it's not bad, but I still have some questions. First, Stadia, the weird name for their service, effectively offers two plans, Stadia Pro and Stadia Base. The Pro service is $9.99 a month, and you're able to stream at 4K 60fps with HDR and 5.1 surround. If you want something less, they offer their base service for free, which streams at up to 1080p 60fps. And I'll say it's definitely surprising. Remember that this is supposed to work on Chromecast, your phone, tablet, etc. Of course, you still have to buy the games, to which they did show off quite a few for the service. They also revealed a Founders Edition, which comes with a special edition blue controller, Chromecast Ultra, three months of Stadia Pro, Destiny 2, and a couple other things for $129 and that's actually available for pre-order today. As for where this will go, I have a ton of questions, like how are things optimized for different platforms? I mean, they can say something works on your phone, but it obviously plays quite differently, so having someone play, say, a shooter on their phone up against a keyboard and mouse user isn't exactly a smart idea. Plus, it's still an issue for those who don't have fast enough internet speeds. I mean, their suggested speeds aren't too bad on the chart that was shared, but plenty of people simply don't or won't have access to it. I don't know though, this could be a really huge thing in the industry, though Google is known for dropping services like my girlfriend drops her phone, which is a lot. I'm kidding, my girlfriend doesn't really drop her phone that much, but Google does. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Excited for Nvidia's next gen GPUs or are you just pumped for Navi? Let me know down in the comments below, and if you liked the video, make sure to subscribe, and as always, have a great day.